I could have had 11 points. Where could I have made those points up? How about the 97? Cody Bear, as uh, he is affectionately called by uh, a certain lady friend of his. Cody Bear. Cody Overton. The four. Trent Ivey, not in the 88. The Deuce. Bo Slay, Milton, Florida. Great to have Bo running the series this year. You're watching Dirt Draft, Super Late Model Hot Laps. How about the Show Me 100 winner, the 22, Chris Ferguson. The Live Oak Machine. Oh, Tyler Millwood. What a cool dude. I, I went and saw a lot of drivers. I missed seeing Tyler, and I regret that I didn't get to where he was. As uh, always a fun guy to chat with. 78 on track. That is Matthew Bracado from Up in Muscle Shoals. They're looking to best a 12.833. You're watching the number one of Peyton Freeman doing his best to try to do it. Starting to get a little character there in three. Joseph Joyner now on the loud pedal. I like the way he went through one and two. Let's see if Joyner's time could jump up. Overton still the fastest of the uh, bunch on track. A lot of others moving around behind him. Ferguson, not eighth. Thought it was ninth for a second, but got quicker somehow. Hughes is ninth. Looks like Ferguson probably the fastest out of that bunch. Nobody of that group faster than uh, 13.153 that Chris put out there. Joiner it did end up pretty good. 10th, 13.188, and another set of them. Pretty much these heats could be features anywhere across the country. Oh, this driver's always tough. Making his way out, the 16, the Baird machine, Sam Seawright. And the six, Clay Harris. How about the speed weeks that guy had in this rocket? Clay Harris. And there's Air Force, Ashton Winger. Oh, I have some goofy photos of him when he was racing Bandoleros. Man, when I would call the summer shootout with him back in the day. Will Roland. What a, what a gas to talk to his father, the uh, proprietor of Roland Tire, and the businesses that uh, they run there in Jasper, Georgia. The Augusta Aquatics machine, the 42 of Clay Knight. Augusta Aquatics doing work here in Alabama. Doing a nice job. Augusta Aquatics, 44. Next out, Dalton Cook, Salem, Alabama. Another one of the Heart of Dixie drivers. The 70 machine, Jeff Smith. Grassy Smith, his granddad, and so much. There we go. Freddie, of course. How about the 11 of Jeff Smith? Excuse me, the 70. We've got things swapped around. And it didn't look like uh, many too fast out of that. Overton's 
12.833, the best of them. Michael Page first out in this next group to go under Will Dyke's flag. The 79, that's Donald McIntosh. 25, Tim Roselle, Aniston. Had dinner in Aniston uh, last night with the group. Nice places up there. 25, just out of uh, range. We just saw him. There's the 14 on camera. That's Will Harrington. Except for Matt Williamson, who runs in the uh, Big Block Modified Series. I think we have all the drivers with only three letters racing with us here in this series. Josh Henry, Newport, Tennessee. Heard the pave track up there in Newport's uh, on its way back. 63, Tanner English. Bullfrog machine. Tanner's run well here. Harry, there's the champ. Josh Putnam, Florence, Alabama. That is the standard right now. And heavy is the head that wears the crown as all these drivers you've been watching come out and more throughout the season are going to be trying to knock off that 112. Cruz Skinner in the 11. Green, green, green. We go again. Putnam on camera, the 2-1-2. What a laid-back, cool dude. Nice for a uh, champion, polite, interacting with the fans. Whoa, McIntosh interacting with uh, what looked like a hole or something there and almost going up and over. So that's the end of Hunt the Front, Super Dirt Alert Model, Dirt Draft Hot Laps with Brandon Overton, Corey Hedgecock, Trey Mills, and Ethan Dotson, the top four. What a night ahead for us here on HuntTheFront.tv. Next on the tracks, one of our local divisions, the Great Racing USA modifies the semi-open wheel cars. All these cars are powered by the GM Performance Parts 602 all-steel engine. This has been a very competitive division in 2023. We had seven winners in the modified division over the course of about 18 races with Chris Yarbrough having eight wins, which was very, very impressive. Eleven cars in the house tonight. Some of our regular racers are not ready. Like in the number 22 will be Mike Rominger out of Briarfield, Alabama. Jamie Gowers in the 25 out of Vincent. Shane Griffin out of Atala in the 110. Tyler Hill in the 55 out of Wadawi. Michael Isbell out of Lincoln, a local boy in the 19. Tyler Hurst out of Lineville in the 1H. Be Tyler Watts out of Mumford in the 31. William Blair out of Whitesburg, Georgia. Scotty Hyatt out of Wadawi, Alabama, and he is a beast in this division. Even though he got only one win, he's been running a tri-track modified series a lot. Brett Gray out of Dallas, Georgia, and Lonnie Newton out of Ragland in the number two. First hot lap session, only hot lap session for the Great Racing USA Modifieds. Keep your eye on that number 57 of Scotty Hyatt. He's going into turn number one. You see a couple cars, the number 17 and the number 25 have a little bit of fun on HuntToFront.tv. Once again, I am late model Mark, your announcer here at Talladega Short Track for the 2024 season. It's my 11th year announcing here at TST, and I never get tired of it, and I love it. The track record here for the Modifieds, even though they won't be qualifying, is a nice 15-27 by David Kay. That was set back way in August of 2020. These boys will draw for their heat position. They already have. There'll be two heats of 11, eight laps each for the Modifieds here tonight. See the number 17 slowing in turn at number three. Actually pulling in the infield out of two. That was Brett Gray out of Dallas, Georgia. One of them Georgia boys who comes and plays here at Talladega Short Track. Now these cars have all good suspension parts that some of the late models do. One big difference is they run that really, really hard. I believe it's the H500 Hoosier. It's a little bit narrower than late model tire, and it is about as hard as my head. So it lasts a long time on the racetrack. 
very inexpensive tire. Well, and there's nothing inexpensive for racing anymore. But it's a little cheaper than a super late model tire that run about 250 bucks, I think, if it has not gone up. Next up, the front wheel drive, boys. It'll be the Hot Shot slash SCDRA. We have 18 of the front wheel drive boys here at Talladega Short Track. I understand in the 604, we have a driver change. It is Brad Berry. The Rockledge Rocket will be driving for Red Farmer tonight. Thank you for that update, Jeremiah. Jason, excuse me, Scotty Hyatt was quickest with a 1575 in that hot lap session. But 18 hot shots. Your track champion in this division was J.J. McAvoy. He had three wins. Our big winner, Lee Hutchison, had six. We had eight winners in 18 races, a very competitive class. KLD out of Edgefield, South Carolina. One of them SCDRA boys was quick in that session at 17.25. Whenever we qualify the hot shots like at the Ice Bowl, 17.35 is the track record. So Mr. Deese is a tenth and change under the existing existing track record. I say existing fast. Second flight of the hot shots will be coming out here. The 7X of Logan McVeigh was second quick at a 17.33. This is a mix of our regular Talladega Short Track Hot Shots and part of the Sport Compact Dirt Racing Association that runs here a big $5,000 to win show in October, usually to close out our season. So they're combining the classes. They're fairly close. The SCDRA may have a little edge in motor and suspension. Not too much, but just a little bit of edge. Still Kale Deese out of South Carolina, quick with a 17.25, and looks like that'll be the quickest of the hot lap session here at Talladega Short Track as we wrap up hot shot hot laps here tonight. Just a few minutes, we'll do our prayer and national anthem, and then we'll get into Hunt the Front Super Late Model Qualifying. It's just a few minutes before 7 o'clock, 6.56, according to my very cheap and old cell phone. Make it now 657. And the last and final flight of the Hot Shots is on the track right now. So we started about 620 or so. And we'll wrap it up just a little bit before 7 o'clock. Once again, you'll see the Talladega Short Track. Cook the total scoreboard in turn number three. In red will be the times for the cars when they qualify. Positions one through five on the bottom. 
Once again, the scales in the center of the track, as well as our victory lane, our Talladega Short Track Coca-Cola victory lane here at the Hornet's Nest. You will see on Hunt to Front TV, now watch these two cars going to turn three. You see those yellow cones? That is the fire zone. Right in the middle of the turn, you'll see the yellow, or like a freeway workers picking up trash color. And the final cone just coming out of turn number four, that is the firebox. So once again, that will wrap up hot shot, hot laps here. So we'll be a few minutes away. Once I get the word, we'll call up the supers. 46 cars, two groups, two groups of cars here for the super late models. Group A and Group B. They'll run heat races tonight. The heat races for the super late models will be eight laps. They're going to take the top 